Uniswap V3 liquidity pools, along with other concentrated liquidity pools, can actually be hedged by using options contracts. Now, when you pair an asset like Ethereum with a stablecoin like USDC, you are essentially creating a payoff curve for your Uniswap V3 position that represents an option contract. I want you to pay attention to this position breakdown by total value over here on Metrics Finance. We are simulating an Ethereum to USDC liquidity pool. As you can see, whenever the price goes up, you are essentially capping your gains. Whereas whenever the price is going down, you are consistently losing money. It's not a a great scenario but when you pair this with other options contracts and you find the inverse payoff curve for this position basically you pair those two together and you can net out your asset value and just print the APR that you're getting out to show you an example I want to take a look over at the largest decentralized finance options protocol it has a TVL of roughly 50 million dollars now keep in mind that's a relatively low TVL for an options protocol but DeFi options have very very low TVL when we take a look at ethereum options we want to take a look at long puts and let's just say we were to set our expiration date for August 30th. If we were to set a strike price of maybe $2,600 and we were to go long on this, you can see the payoff curve will make money whenever the price goes down as the price approaches 2000 and so on and so forth. It's making money. Whereas as the price goes up, we have capped our losses. We are essentially protecting ourselves from losing more than $116, which is the option premium. That's the premium that you pay up front for purchasing the option contract. Now I am nowhere near an expert with options. However, I do have basic knowledge and I have used them before when it comes to hedging Uniswap liquidity pools. I've actually worked with multiple institutions in the past where we have actually launched multiple positions with over $100,000 invested into them where we're hedging the Uniswap V3 liquidity pool with options contracts. And that's exactly where this tool that I'm showing you right here comes from. Obviously, it's not pretty like Metrics Finance is, but it's something that we use in-house and it does the trick. But I want to go ahead and show you exactly how this would work. Because remember, our goal with this Ethereum USDC pool is to find the inverse of this chart right here. So we basically need a chart that does quite the opposite, that makes money on the downside to protect our losses in the Uniswap v3 pool on the downside basically the best part about options is you pay the premium you don't have to put up a huge amount of capital like you would have to if you were doing perpetual futures so let's go ahead and take a look at this right we want to do a $2,600 strike price right here and let's just say we want to purchase one of these options and our premium is $116 remember we are going to do a long put right here and then when it comes to our uniswap v3 position we need to go ahead and tighten up the range let's just say we were to do a min price $2,250 and then we are put our max price at something along the lines of $3,050 basically that's minus 15% plus 15%. It's going to get us about 46% Ethereum. Not too bad whatsoever. Remember, the goal is to protect our capital in here. Now, since we are purchasing one option contract, we essentially need to put one Ethereum in the liquidity pool. So we need to match our exposure that we have in the liquidity pool with the exposure that we have over here on the option. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and input my parameters on this calculator. It's 2250 to 3050 as our lower bound and upper bound. And as far as the current price goes, we are going to put that at 2650 because that's what it's at right now. And then we need to fill in how much of each asset we're going to be putting in the pool asset x being the ethereum whereas asset y being usdc basically and then just like that we can zero out our apr remember this options expiration date is august 30th so that's currently 16 days away so we would assume that we print about 16 days worth of yield we're not going to factor that in quite yet though so we'll just put the days at 16 and keep the apr at zero as you can see this is nearly a perfectly hedged contract the only thing that we have is that 116 dollar loss which is the premium for taking on this option contract basically now that's a sunk cost right up front. It doesn't matter how it performs. If the price of Ethereum goes down substantially, yes, we're going to make that money back just from our option actually paying off, as you could see. But if the price of Ethereum actually starts to go up, we lose that money. That's the thing about options. They're not always going to be profitable. But when we throw in that 45% APR, you'll notice that we make roughly $50 over the course of 16 days, basically. So when we factor that in, our position is being protected on the downside as well as the upside. But this option isn't really favorable for hedging the Uniswap V3 position. And the reason why is because the pre premium for this option is so high. It's currently sitting at $115. If we were to select one of these other options with a lower strike price, but a much, much, much more favorable premium, then that's going to allow us to earn a relatively high APR. Let's take a look if we were to do a $2,200 strike price, because that's only a $23 premium. Just like that, you can see it's a relatively interesting payoff curve, but at the same time, it works. And why might we want to do this is because if we were to go down to, let's just say the price of $2,246, we'd have $2,328 in this liquidity position. Remember, we started with $2,000. 600. Now, if we were to not have the option, we'd have 2304 in the liquidity position. But if we were to go down below that 2250 mark, we are protecting a lot of losses. Like if Ethereum were to go to, let's just say $1,500 right now, we'd have 2264 in the position. Whereas if Ethereum were to go to $1,500 over here, we'd have roughly 1536. We'd have a huge loss right here. So when we are running these hedges, we are betting on volatility. And that's exactly what options are. We need to make sure that there's volatility in the market to ensure that we are making back that premium. Now, before we go any 
further, I want to mention that this is just one of the many in-house tools that we have built for our DeFi legacy members. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with my DeFi legacy program, it's my five-step approach that helps you build out a robust DeFi passive income portfolio in just five weeks. We've helped Thomas replace his income with a full-time DeFi passive income. We've helped Mitchell earn income on his cryptocurrency assets so they're not just sitting there. We've helped Scott fund his home build through decentralized finance, and we've just helped Noah supplement his current income with passive income through decentralized finance. Rest assured, we know what we're doing. And if you guys are interested in learning more about my DeFi legacy program, where you can work directly with me to build and scale your DeFi portfolio, that link is down below in the description to apply. And yes, I did say apply because it is application only, and we only work with 10 people per month. But anyways, back into things, Lyra is not the only options protocol that we have. There's Hejik, there's Dara, and there's also a ton of other options protocols. The main issue with all of these different protocols, they have low TVL. There's $55 million in Lyra, and that's the highest on chain. Now, there is a centralized options exchange known as Darabit, and they have much more favorable rates because they have a lot more liquidity. But still, you'll notice on Darabit, the asking price for one of these options at $2,600 is $112. At the moment, the rates are actually pretty similar to Lyra, so that's going to be your best bet. But I would highly recommend looking through different options protocols so you can make sure that you are going to have a healthy hedge, one that's not going to actually make you lose money, basically. And might I say, you need to have volatility and you need to be expecting some decline in the assets that you are hedging. Now, the best part is we can diversify, right? Because Lyra supports Ethereum and Bitcoin, so we could go and take a look over at Bitcoin positions on Metrics Finance. And the other thing is we could just search for higher APR positions. Like if we were to go run Ethereum to USDC on some other exchanges, we might be able to get a higher APR, which would help out our overall position. Taking a look over at Hejik, the premium is $153 for Ethereum to USD at the same strike price over on Lyra. Now the premium over on Dara, not Darabit, is $65, which is still pretty good. But at the same time, that's not going to help our overall position. We need to have something that is much, much, much more cheaper, or we need to have a position that is much, much higher APR or a mixture of both would be the best. So the position that I want to take a look at next is Ethereum to USDC. As you can see, it has a 168% APR right now because there's not a lot of liquidity on current prices. So this is a once in a blue moon opportunity where we can hedge this position and we can get a really high APR for that hedge position and it's completely organic. It is real yield and we are not having to take on any crazy incentive token exposure like Arrow or CRV token or Quick Token or Cake Token or anything along those lines. It's just pure Uniswap V3, which is a safe smart contract as well as an option paired with it. Anyways, taking a look at it with our range of 2250 to 3050. That's that 168% APR right there. Deploying 2650. If we go ahead and plug that into our calculator, along with the Dara option that we found for roughly $65 over here, you can see that we are nearly perfectly hedged. We're not quite perfectly hedged. We would have to increase our exposure to something like 1.2 if we want to be basically perfectly hedged or even make some money on the upside. But let's just assume that we don't want to do that because worst case scenario, if Ethereum did go to $0, we'd still have 2625 in the pool, which keep in mind our deployment was 2650. So obviously that's not that big of a deal because Ethereum's most likely not going to zero dollars. But you'll notice over the course of these seven days that we're in the pool, that 168% APR prints us $90. So if we take 90 and we subtract our $65 premium for it, that's a net of $25. If we divide that by seven, that's three and a half dollars per day, which per year is going to be roughly $1,300. And when we divide that by the 2650 that we deployed in the position, that's a 50% APR right there on a hedged Uniswap V3 position. Now, the reason why this works right now is because the premium over on Dara is favorable. It's roughly $65. Yes, it could be lower, but this isn't that liquid of a market. But then if we take a look over here at Ethereum to USDC, you'll notice that there's not a lot of liquidity on current prices, which is why we're able to capture a higher return. If there was more liquidity on current prices, we're getting 45% APR, not 168% APR. And we can go even further and say, okay, well, we're playing this on a seven day time frame. So what happens if we put our top price at something like 2950 or even 2900 then we're going to need roughly 1717 usdc and we're going to need roughly 0.35 ethereum so just paste that in and as far as our apr goes we're getting roughly 202 percent so we're going to make roughly a hundred dollars in this situation and you'll notice that we are nearly perfectly hedged right here so we make 103 dollars over the course of seven days we subtract our 65 dollar premium that's a 38 dollar profit which is roughly five dollars and fifty cents per day keep in mind i'm excited about five dollars but this is five dollars fifty cents on ethereum to usdc per year that's going to be roughly 1980 basically and when we divide that by our initial 2650 that comes out to a 75 percent apr on a hedged uniswap v3 position there is not a better position and not a better opportunity that i've seen in the market right now so if you guys are looking to learn more about hedge uniswap v3 positions and interested in working with myself to build out a market neutral portfolio or even a portfolio where maybe we go long and short at the same time and then we also mix it with a uniswap v3 position so we can make money on the up
upside, but mitigate our risk on the downside while still earning an APR. There are so many opportunities that are possible. You just need to have the right tools and the right people guiding you throughout the process. But again, I'm here to help you if you want my support. Otherwise, if you're not interested in my DeFi legacy program, I highly recommend you drop a like and subscribe when notifications turned on. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.